Back to the Future. Boy, I want a DeLorean. So, um, hello YouTube. Uh, this is our Back to the Future review um, video. Um, we saw Back to the Future on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and uh, this is Janet. Um, we're going to have a couple of guests uh, appearing every now and then. Um, this is the first of our um, recapping uh, series. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be reviewing some of the classic movies and we'll have a guest on the show, in this case Janet. Um, so you hadn't seen uh, Back to the Future before. Uh, I have, lots of times. Um, so we've got both the basis, um, newbie and sweaty nerd. Um, so what did you? Uh, what's your initial reactions to the movie? I understand why people love it. I understand why people get obsessed. Um, it's got all the things that a cult classic should have. It's got uh, reliable characters. It's got humour. It's got a new concept in the the car is a time machine that hadn't been done before. Um, yeah, a good, decent 80s movie. Cool. So, uh, Back to the Future um, stars uh, Michael uh, J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd and is directed by Robert Zemeckis. So, if you haven't seen Back to the Future before, um, you have been living under a rock or something. Um, uh, the narrative is basically uh, Michael's character Marty um, um, gets into the DeLorean which is the time machine and accidentally is transported back from eight, uh, 1985 to 1955 um, and it's all about him trying to get back to the future um, Christopher Lloyd plays Doc Brown both in um, 1985 and 1955 and they have to send him back to the future. There's uh, also a really weird uh, moment because he meets his parents and his mum accidentally has a crush on him which is a very odd concept. He um, does the one thing you're not meant to do in time travel which is mess up your family history because <laughs> yeah. it prevents his parents from meetings and disaster. Yeah, it, it's a very odd concept, um, but um, basically what I like about this movie is it's just really good fun. Uh, the comedy is really good in this movie, it just makes you laugh from start to finish. Um, uh, the DeLorean is, has now became, become an icon in time travel even though as they say in the movie it's not a very good car <laughs> which is just adds to the nostalgia of it all um, I also really like uh, Michael J Fox and Christopher Lloyd's relationship mm. they kind of indicate it in this movie because of course most of the time in this movie Christopher Lloyd doesn't know who Marty, uh, Marty is mm. Um, but they kind of start to sow this relationship which goes throughout all the three movies. Uh, what did you like about this movie? Um, I liked, as I said, it's a good decent 80s movie, you know, a teenage boy, a eccentric relationship with weird scientists, uh, ends up in the past. It's a good decent adventure movie in that we know what the problem is, he's prevented his parents from meeting. And so he has to fix that in order to not, you know, uh, not exist. Yeah, erase himself <laughs> from the world. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good, it's just a plain, it's just a good movie. So, what did you not like about this movie? I didn't like how it kept. The narrative itself could have been acted out in about 45 minutes. Mm. But it kept repeating itself <clears throat> in that they had to keep stating, this is the problem, how do we fix it? Oh no, it's gone wrong again, this is the problem, how do we fix it? Uh, purely for the reason of making it a long movie. I understood why they did yep. it, but the repetition was the yep. only thing that bugged me. I know this movie came first, but I call this the Hobbit effect. Um, so um, 
as well as that, um, it's uh, one of those movies that you can imagine how cool it would have been mm. sitting in the cinema in 1985. Uh, which was kind of in this period where we got this kind of big sci-fi movies. Mm. So you got Star Wars, you got this movie, and they were all starting to come out at this point. I can imagine it must have been a really good time to be a film fan. Um, uh, but what did I not like? I didn't like the female development in this movie or any of the movies in particular. There was none, that was the problem. Yeah, that was the problem. <laughs> it's an 80s movie. Um, the, uh, Jennifer is only there as the goal for Marty to achieve and basically I think in this movie she gets five minutes of screen time. Yeah, yeah about five minutes. Um, and she's almost a Thing rather than a character, if that makes She's sense. She's just the girlfriend. Yes. Um, um, and um, Marty's mum uh, has the same problem. She gets far more screen time, but there's no character there. It's she, it's just... We have a tiny bit of character in the beginning when yes. Marty meets his mother. And then from that point on, she's just... Oh, oh no, it's actually Marty's mom. We and, don't know anything about her. And she's just, oh, he's hot, da da da. There's no meat there yeah. to stick your teeth into. Um, I find his dad really weird. Um, it just, I can imagine that being my dad. Uh, sorry. Um, which <laughs> is just really weird watching that. Um, good casting or uh, it, poor acting? It's um, it's good casting. I just find him really irritating. Um, I think it's a scandal that he refused to do the other two movies. But we can talk about that when we go into the other two movies. Um, so Back to Future is a good time. It's good fun. The comedy is really funny, particularly in this movie. Christopher Lloyd. Oh, love him. Uh, worship him. Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> that would be creepy. Um, um, but it's not a technically very good film. It's a nostalgia film. It's what those kind of movies that we call a classic and to put it in a lead lined box and you, if you say anything wrong about it, you get yeah, stabbed. Yeah. Um, so I will give uh, Back to the Future 8 out of 10 mod points. I concur. Eight out of ten. So, um, Back to the Future. Have you seen it? Uh, what did you think? Uh, comment below and let's have a discussion. Um, if you haven't seen it, well, you haven't lived, and you have no excuse. Even I've seen it. Um, if you like what you see on this um, uh, video, um, like the video, and if you want to see more, subscribe. Now, there's some very exciting stuff happening on the channel this week. Because Spectre comes out. Which now means that James has a new favourite car. It is no longer the DeLorean, it is the Aston Martin. Oh, I just. Oh, cars and movies is just a win win. Um, so, um, yes, that uh, that's happening very soon. Um, I'm very excited about this. I've been planning it for the last week and I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> um, so, I'm James. I'm Janet. And this is us signing out. <laughs>